Kia ora, kia ora, hi my greetings and welcome, I am Guru, we are in Providence Ridge with the last ones standing, playing the plus 100% mod, maximum zombie spawn mod in the lethal zone, so basically double the number of zombies, it is day 3, and we have just had a curveball drop, which is the scavenger hunt, which means they're going to find a lot more stuff, which is great, because we do need a lot more stuff, We our supply locker is... I mean, even for me, it's looking pretty bad. Um, the downside is that there is um, a raucous level of noise, which means there is going to be a heck ton of zombies moving around the map, potentially. So we cannot, cannot under any circumstances cause a fight. Oh dear, we have, we have a fight. We're just going to burn them. Wow, there are still more of them. Like, loads more of them. Fucking be. Try and take out the armored zombies. Now, we do have them to have. That won't work. Shotguns in our community, which is going to help. But only so much. Wow. Whoop, funny help. Get him. Right. Jeepers, they just keep coming. It's a fucking feral. Oops, not what we want. Dangerous. Busted up. Are we all alive? Are we all good? No, no, we are not all good. Wow, welcome to the mod. <laughs> welcome. Welcome, welcome. Wowzers. Okay, so we've got to put someone in here. Now what we're doing is we're putting the... Um, we're putting the water cooler. We've transferred it from our farm to our water cooler so that we can make some painkillers because we are, we, are, we are quite low on painkillers. Um, and there is another plague sample here. So much for not causing any trouble, huh? And yeah, yeah, we did all right with the blade. And um, but we'll take the bell club, even though it's ten pounds, because I do prefer. Oh, maybe we just take a blade weapon. We were doing okay with the bow machete. Yep, we'll take the bow machete. Um, right. So we were putting people in shop. So Zeb, Adrian, that's me. I'm gonna go get checked out. Make sure everything still works like it should. And now we should be able to turn that on. And produce some painkillers. Seven weak painkillers. You know what? Yep. We'll take them. We will take them. Because as you can see, we've got very little. We've got these strong painkillers and we've got some stints. But we want to save those for when we go after a plague cure. So, uh, plague heart. So what do we got? So we've got Warlord, 
weapons for all, which is pretty nasty. We've got the whiskey peddlers left behind who are all the way down here, but they hmm, might be worth talking to. But we also have a fair amount of other loot to find, but we want to stay away from the plague areas because if we wake up a plague heart now, when we've got the scavenger hunt going, with our raucous level of noise, that's going to that's gonna really hurt. So um, I guess what we can do is do a little bit of trading. Because we do have these that we can trade. Can we afford another snack. That's it. All our snacks are gone. Um, and our vehicle is pretty toast. But we'll bring it down to our outpost because our outpost does have... The no, it doesn't. But it does now. Hmm. Well, it will if we need to. I've got a juggernaut in my sights. Yikes! All right. So obviously, desperately, need, we need the resources in order to uh, to put up a fight here. I mean, we get hit with one of those raids every time. We need to upgrade our infirmary as well. So Shit. we just need a, lot of a ton of everything. Here. Hey, what? Well, get a bit closer to our outpost, and we're less likely to draw in a crowd. Wow, so yes! Zombie spawns pretty mean straight off the bat. This uh, enclave is giving us morale and food, which is a godsend, really, because we're only losing three food a day only. So we need food, we need we need everything. What you got for me? But those uh they do have snacks. Like we we actually need snacks. Now we don't need meds as much. Um we got twelve hundred and ninety two, which is actually a pretty good, pretty good number. We'd appreciate it. Okay. The house hunters, where are they? Just down the road, and Bobbit has got some meds. Well, let's see what we can do. Bueno. Yeah, we'll do it. All right, and we'll see what they've got. This could go all horribly wrong. But we'll see, we'll see. But we're not in a position to turn our nose up at... Uh, at any enclaves who want our help. So again, we just have to be careful we don't kill too many zombies. But should we park up... And should the zombies attack, if we just stay out of their way and let the survivors, the Enclave members, kill the zombies, and that won't count against us waking up the play card. So we'll go with that. Right, I believe it's this house just down here. Check the map, it certainly is. one but we can cope with one this has worked out all right and we might be able to get some supplies from around hey, here as well going. hopefully so hopefully these guys are, are nice guys sean you're the man Gracias. so we got 100 influence so the net Take cost was only 25 to find out what these guys are about hey, come on they're in. friendly so that's good a bartender Rats? which comes with so bartenders are good because you've got cooking grace who's a blank slate Turns out I ain't quite dead yet. and we've got minerva surprise, who surprise. has hygiene oh boy minerva is a definite hire definite hire definite recruit and um, unless these guys have like something amazing in terms of their in terms of their enclave bonus we will take that took me a second but we're back into it we got this. Oops. Well, they may not have seen me. They haven't. They just they just heard the noise. Unfortunately, means getting in there into that shed. Okay, so yes, it's worth searching. And we're just sneaking around here because we don't want to alert them. 
we can avoid it. Around. This right. place ain't ever gonna feel safe. So we'll search this place up. That'll let the uh, plague heart cool off just a little bit. Because we are in a plague zone. I guess it's something. Yeah, chemicals. That's one thing about Providence Ridge. You find chemicals everywhere. So it's a really good crafting map. So if you're starting on Providence Ridge, always think about starting with a chemist. Because they will level up very, very quickly. And you'll always have a use for them, whether it's making meds, whether it's making ammunition, um, whether it's creating pharmaceuticals, you know, they're, they're excellent. Or um, energy drinks as well. So they have a lot to offer, and particularly so on Providence Ridge. Okay, we won't go back to the car just yet, because I'm pretty sure... Yeah. We'll crouch, we don't know what's on the other side. Oop, good shot. These guys are worth killing at range because we might get samples out of them just like that one. We can take our time and pick our shots. Coming through. There. I have some goodies to trade straight from Trumbull Valley. Come on by. That could be worth it because we do have a garden. We do have a gardener. I mean, it's investing for the future a bit. It's not mission critical just now. Would be good. Have things just gone horribly wrong? They're shooting. Why are they shooting? Zombies got too close to the house. Okay. That's our cue. We didn't get to search out our caravan. Dang it. Still got a sample out of that. This is all good. But we just don't want to be spotted have these guys count towards kills, you know? Oh, it's a feral. Oh, you jerk. I was thinking that maybe, just maybe, we'll get get away by playing Rinder and the Rosie around the car, but nope. Still never mind. And the scream is up here. He's going to scream. Do not alert the play cart, please. Uh, yeah, we need to let this play cart cool off. Because if we're raucous and it wakes up, it's going to send out infestations and siege, uh, siege hordes, infestation hordes. And with the raucous amount of noise at the moment, that'll be the end of that. Rumors going around about the Zeds, but this may be one of the craziest. No, the outbreak was not caused by fracking. Rums. All right, we might just have to do a little bit of judicious reversing. What we're getting pretty, pretty healthy number of samples out of this. So that wasn't a terrible little run. Now the first thing we want to upgrade is our infirmary. Which we can do when we have 15. So one more rock. 
Excuse me. One more material rock. And we should be good. But I think we're a long way from finding one of those in our vicinity. There's four of eight. Um, Tartan Mart for more food. Yeah, we do need more food. All right, we'll park down here again and we'll, uh, we'll get our food. Because once that's sorted... Once the food is sorted, then, you know, we can spend some time around other parts of the map. There's more out there. Just got to keep looking. Shut tight. Nice. Feel graceful. Okay. Wanna be a little more careful than that. Wow, I didn't even see that one. So we don't need to rush into anything here. If it was a normal lethal zone, we could go a little quicker, but seeing as the... No. Oh. Cannot let him scream. Seeing as the zombie count is what it is, which is ludicrous. Play things a little more cautiously. Having said that, this is feral territory. So, we'll do what we can. Coast looks clear. That's good. Pumping from this, from the little pharmacy next door, the little the doctor's clinic, which we've looted out. So we should do all right here. We should get some energy drinks. We, oh, a light crossbow. Nice. Very, very nice. Crossbow recovery, crossbow bolt recovery being on the light crossbow being slightly better. Yeah, I shudder to think what the zombie spawns are going to be like once we've actually, once we're actually going after um, plague hearts. It's going to be, it's going to be pretty wild. Oops, wrong side of the store. And should we get any curveballs which increase the capabilities of the zombies as well? You know, that's just going to be exponentially harder as well. And if they Got a have screamer over here, you know, enhanced senses and all the rest of it, as well as the numbers. Oof, it's nasty. So I'm actually thinking about maybe. Oh, that's a, that's a horde. I was going to say, maybe upgrading my outpost down here. Now they seem to be on a mission of their own. Which is fine by me. Because since update 36... For the level 2 outpost, we wouldn't necessarily have to drive all the way back to my base to deposit a rucksack. And considering just how dangerous it is to visit my base, I'm thinking it's not the worst idea in the world. Right now, we could do it. We've got 13. That would give us minus 2 food per day. We could deposit this food ruck and then go hunting for more materials because we need to... We need more of those anyway. And then we don't need to be near the infirmary. If we don't wake up a play cart, we can avoid any sieges. And then the base will be relatively safe until we find some better armaments. So you know what? That's what I'm going to do.
Plus, I haven't tested out the old update 36 update anyway, in terms of improving the outpost. So if we open the outpost and we upgrade it, five, eight hundred. I mean, it's expensive, but hey, I think we're going to be in this base for a little while. Okay, so that'll take a minute. Okay, let's just uh, hunker down. While that happens, maybe... Maybe we do this too. Can't at the moment. But you can see, also with a chemist, you save uh, on outpost defences, and should you get munitions, you save even more. So, definitely Providence Ridge. Chemistry. I would take I'd take a chemist anyway. Honestly, if I was starting on any game. Right now, that empty carport might have some materials as well. I'm not sure I actually took everything out of these these areas as well. Oh my word, that's my that's what the uh, did you see that how it all dropped in? That's the level two outpost revealing uh, a larger scouting range. So, let's put this stuff in. Classic crossbow, yes. And we'll take that. Oh, we could trade that, couldn't we? Yeah, we'll do that. I think it's right here. And let's see. Outpost options. Deposit rucksack. Another victory. There we go. It's pretty cool happy with that excellente damn that plague heart smell is fucking rancid that's not great it's good to see you what you got for me yeah, that sounds about right there you go so starting to get some of that um influence back pop that guy Now, as we remember from the map, up here is, uh, I mean, we just don't have the crossbow bolts to, to do this. Um, not going up round the long way anyway. Yeah, a lot of, a lot of, a lot of action around this area, so... Let's not. Let's not wake anyone up. And let's grab our vehicle. Yeah, I think what we're going to do now is we will put up those outpost mines. Now that this is generally our new base, this um, outpost... We will actually invest in the mines. Oh, let's squish him. Oof. Is that a feral? Sounded like it. Can't do it. Didn't see him coming. Okay, that changes things. Fucking be. Hmm. Oh. Difficult. Getting 
slow on that. Ah, they just keep coming. Alright. No, 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 no. Impossible. I will fight you on the mountaintop. Out, or I will die here. Can we get back to our vehicle? Let's just keep running. Oof. Well, we managed to break line of sight at least. As you can see, things can get out of hand pretty quick. And we spent quite a few resources on that too. I guess it's something. Yeah, it's not much though, is it? We probably need to get Adrian back. So that we can put him in the infirmary. We've only got one bed at a time. So we will have to cycle. these guys quicker than I would otherwise. Alright. Sorry, phone call. Hello? A phone call from my mum. In the middle of a zombie apocalypse. Could have been worse. It could have been a minute ago. Let's put that back. <laughs> Locked up. Yeah, it's not. See if we can get the ruck from this room. Ah, see? So there might be another container in there, but if we get the ruck from here, then that's good enough. We don't have to wake all those zombies up and draw their attention. See what I mean? Loads of chemicals on this map. So even with the crossbows, trying to shoot zombies is just going to chew through our ammunition. So we're going to have to pick and choose how we do that. Um, let's see. Uh, right, yeah, three or two. Then we've got the upper campsite on the other side of this shed. So that could be worth a look. Let's hope that when we come back, our car isn't swarmed. Because this mod redefines the definition of swarm and horde. These are now ears. We're just going to drop down because we hear unfriendlies of a shambling kind. I guess we could call these HOUSs. Hordes of unusual size. Those who know, know. Let me know in the comments if you know what film that is from. I'm really glad we checked out this campsite. We're good with what we've got. Now we did need those rucksacks. That rucksack because... Already, it's been pointed out to me that I... What? Is he on the ground?
<laughs> that zombie sounded surprised. Here we go. There might be a few more of those lying around, but we're not going to worry about them just now. Let's get back to our outpost. Ooh. Oh. Oh. Oh, there are a few of those around. All right, let's drop this stuff off. So we're finding all the crossbows at the moment. So another light crossbow. So I might as well unload that. And you've got another one of those. So we'll just dash across the road and then I think we'll swap out. And we'll put... Who is that? Adrian? Yes, and take Plunk out, because Plunk needs to do some work. Busy hands. You're still Alleviate worry. What you got for me? Sounds good. Alright, anything else? That toolkit is looking pretty good. I'll grab it. Just because they're cheap and we don't have the mechanic. So when presented with the opportunity, yeah, we'll take it. Gotta catch my breath. Good work, my son. All right, so we'll take that. We'll take the light crossbow off him, and I guess we'll give him the classic crossbow for now. Um, and we'll take Plunk. Ah, uh, the pre- Okay. Hmm. It could be decent. Alright, first things first. Let's get Adrian some bed rest. He earned it. We'll take a light crossbow. Um, found some more toothpaste. That's always good, There's isn't leg it? Bloater. Alright, okay. So, I don't think we'll use the shovel. We'll save that for going after play cards. Should we meet one? Oh, we got two of them now. That's excellent. Um, he can use the other Bowie machete. Wow, we're going heavy with the blade this time, folks. Um, so, Trumbull Trader is miles away. You don't have to worry about them. This whiskey peddlers are down there. My aunt, the prepper, is... Up in an area where there is actually some value searching around. So what do we got? We've got that. Got some more stuff to trade. We've got one Molotov. Can we actually tr make anything else? Just soda can bombs. No, I think we'll... We could craft fireworks as well. But Shit. I think for now... A lot of plague zombies around here. We just smash these guys' windows. You're still on your feet. Get get us. Sounds like a plan. So that, and then we'll go check out. Hopefully that doesn't count as a towards waking up a plague heart. All right, so we're going up the road. We're all up there, by the way. Should do him. Is he still around? No, that was him. Great. Oh, play cure. Yes, please. Play example, sorry. Alright, now this place can be pretty tricky to get into, so we'll just drive along here. See if we can... Find a quiet spot. Just don't want that one screaming at us. Okay. Alright. We'll try and do the prepper first. 
because there are also other containers down where those parked cars are near the exit of the map. For. Sometimes you can find some good stuff in there. Travel to Aunt Paramiver's Paramiver's house. Paramiver. All right. Well, we were meaning to come back here at some stage. Anybody here? Locked up. Ow. I was the last one here. Still, it doesn't sound like we're any inside. For a trade? Come on by. We could hey be. There. Hello, Bert. What you got for me? Sure. Um, okay. Where'd this guy come from? And he's got stuff. So compost bin is actually awesome. But only for gardens and hydroponics, which are which are developed to some degree. We've got the soil enrichment kit. That will improve health, which is pretty good actually. Expensive, but good. Right now that could be a doozy. I might be carrying too much here. Alright. Okay, so we're heavy. That's all good. Oh, that's not good. The zombies are passing right past us. So, oh, here we go. See, the incidental music kind of gives it away that they've uh, that we've been spotted. It'd be a lot more fun to find out the hard way. How's he doing? Doing all right. Got a rest. Fire in the hole. I'm glad I got one of those. Ah, oh, come on. We'll be back. Oh, hang on. No, we didn't find what we came for. I reckon if he can keep, take the last of them out. Armors everywhere. Wait, you got a bandage? Sure. Nope. All right, well, you never know you're lucky we might find one in here. Oof, brutal. Prepper plans. It's so cold, but if I decipher it, maybe I can figure out where she went. Maybe. Adrian's recovered from trauma. That's all very good. Whatever. Shotgun shells for sure. Thing is, we've got two shotguns back at base, but we can only use them for base weapons at the moment. Because honestly, carrying around a sawn off as a sidearm is yeah, probably not going to lead to anything good. And then we've got this last one, and it's just got one of those in it. So, we can leave that behind. Get back to the vehicle. We're doing alright. I mean, it is early days. keep our eyes up open uh, where do we where do we park somewhere up here nice so we'll drop this stuff off and then we might actually just do a quick look down the road maybe a bit across the road we'll drop this heavy stuff not that, the heavy stuff. Yeah, we could have traded that out, couldn't we? 
Don't shoot him. Alright, so we've got three slots left. Uh, oh, we've searched those already. Wandering Trader is still there. And these two hordes are colluding to thwart my efforts. So that's alright. We're happy with that. We'll call that a win. Got in, got out. Hit the jackpot with a trader. Planks no longer... Oh. Damn. And I broke my car. Not very good at getting zombies off my vehicle. I learned the knack when I, you know, okay, stopped murdering so many zombies with the vehicle. Alright. This is all useful stuff. So, if we look at our base now. We can put our garden in here. We can put airtight containers in here. We can put portable Jenny in there. Here we go. Hey, could you guys help us out? Who's that? House hunters. Materials for everyone. Now, can we take Ah, well, uh, we can't take more. rucksacks out if though. End up over in Trumbull, feel free to stop by. We won't. Um House Hunters. That would let me ally up and get the hygiene person. Okay. Let's head back to base. And our car with impressive air conditioning. We want this plague sample. All right, all these guys follow me all the way up. steer away from that for now. A uh, great new bit of the update 36 which comes out is that uh, bloater gas um, is now really a, a lot more obvious and clear as to where it affects you. So no more of the, you know, barely My touching or not even getting close to a bloater and it exploding. So the bloaters will try and get closer to you before they explode. And the gas will, um, the on-screen visual will meet will match what the actual area of effect is, which is not how it used to be. Okay, we're doing all right. Um, what are we going to do? We were going to take materials down. As much as we want materials. All right, kids, here you go. You're welcome. Oh, that's actually pretty good. Uh, and we're going to grab that Molotov. Because it saved our bacon last time. Here we go. Um... Right. Oof, it is nasty on the road down there. And we probably want to get down there and get back before... No, this guy cannot be tolerated to exist up here. Oh. How long have I been running around with this unlooted? And I call myself a loot goblin. Dang fine. We found a lot of crossbow bolts. A lot. Alright. Okay, so this could this could be nasty. But we'll see how we get on. Yeah. I'm thinking we got a plague heart nearby. Now if we get the person with hygiene, even though we will be losing a lot more food, they do give us a community-wide bonus against infection. Considering the number of zombies around, that can only be a good thing. We can always, you know, decide to, you know, use them as opposed to somewhere else. That screen is going to do us a favor.
Down you go. What? That's right. You've got to be careful because this area is play cart area. that plague guards around this place ain't ever gonna feel safe we're okay all right we'll let the enclave mop up any others which come in uh, Adios. who did you want me to talk to please the nerva I feel like myself again. Gracias. those were ex expensive i hope Bring you've in, got okay. a good, good to enclave see you bonus on, slows infestations Nope, that's actually better because they're hopeless. Good to see um, you. And Minerva has hygiene. So, hey you, what's up? Get get us. Okay. You got anything that so. we want right now? Bolt crafting kit. Expensive gas can. Yes. Even though we've got three back at base, we will need those. First aid kit at seventy-one. You know, I'm going to say yes to that. Because we may need that as a backup option. And Good we're going to gonna you. talk to her. We're going to recruit. Dig you. Your friends, not so much. What about making a change? So she's got a Hunter's Bolt Scout, which isn't the worst gun in the world. And now we've got a house to loot. That's how it works, folks. Oh, eight containers, too. That's pretty good. So those guys will run off, hopefully drawing away all the zombies. Check this out. Talk to me. We'll use her as a pack mule for now. Mm. At eight containers, we might even get a ruck out of this. It's possible. Or, you know, eight rolls on the loot table. We've got to come up with something good. Circuitry. Circuitry is good. You need that for the command center, and they're a little harder to get in Providence Ridge. You gotta go deep into the urban centers to find them. Normally. I might be carrying too much here. Well. Oh, doesn't sound like you're getting very far. Oh, it's still light outside. I'm pretty happy with that. We used to do everything together. Shopping, movies, dancing, everything. A week before the world ended, we had a fight. It was so stupid. But then I got busy at work and I... I never saw any of them again. Yeah? It's a tough story. Talk to me. Right. So that would have revealed her traits. One, uh, a hidden, hidden trait. We're finding some good stuff. Um, let's dump this stuff back in the ve in the vehicle. Well, as much of it as we can. Trying to get more samples out of that. So that, uh, no, we're just going to fill the car up so that we can get the get the spare slot because I think we'll need it. Huh? These are pretty heavy items. Put that in book is two, so we'll. Put that in. Alright, huh? Nerva can carry the rest of this stuff. We need help over here, so I'm putting out a call for volunteers. Interested? That's pretty good as well.
for example. And we can always come back here, you know? Here we go. We take him down because if he sees us and screams, and we can't take him out in time. And we will be in trouble because it'll wake up a play card. And to sell. At the risk of sounding like a broken record, that, could be that worse. curveball is not what we want at the moment. Which is why we're treating very carefully. Especially with a follower who may run off or start firing her bolt scout. Because they seem to draw a little bit of uh, attention. Fire Yo, another survivor. Really? Know what shit they Hello. Oh, come on. Adios. We were still looting this place. What? All right, I haven't even got this person back to base. Hairdressing. So hairdressing is a uh, has chemistry. I'm glad you see it that way. Uh, blank slates. And Farah, he's got a cool jacket. Gardening, quite the gardener. Good to know. But they have stolen all the rest of my gear. Oh, to be fair, we're pretty full up anyway. So we will need to get back to base, grab some samples. Is she in the car? Oh, she is. She's a. Uh, she knows what she's doing. She's a pro. Doesn't say a play card stir, so that's that's positive. Lord coming, very not good. Ew. That's not actually helpful because that will wake up the uh, zombies. Uh, the play card, sorry, by killing zombies. Now we're just going to clear out our stocks before we go up to the base because if something kicks off at our base we'll end up with all this on us which is not what we want right now in fact we could return no no we want to drop our hygiene expert off at base got no room for that with her weapon and let's see yeah we'll take those so she's got. Yeah. So this is this might seem like a little bit of messing around, but what we don't want to do is get up there, have a massive fight, have someone killed, and then lose all this gear. Nobody fuck it up. I mean that would just be terrible, and it does happen. And we're driving up to our base at night. So with all the best will in the world. It's still all go horribly wrong. If we're fast enough, hopefully we'll get all this sorted. We'll drop that, zombies. Alright, get in here. Ooh, all right. 31 infection, eh? I'm gonna rest up a bit. Alright, so let's if we check our hygiene, plus 50. 50 infestation resistance and plus 10 max health to the entire community. She's a preschool teacher, uh social butterfly, so standing rewards for plus 50 percent. And had weapons training, which is possibly why she has. Um, more fighting and a bit of shooting which is just great um, right so let's check our old plague oh, samples in here. so I think they ask for three and we've got enough so that we've got enough for a plague cure so we'll craft that and we won't take it with us with a bloody good reason is because I will do something stupid because I will go it's all right I've got a plague cure and get us killed so 
Yeah, let's not do that. Um, but we should do this while we can. What have I done? That cloud fucked me up. Oh, shit. Oh, he got me from there. Not much left of that. Running, 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 running. That was gnarly. That was very, very gnarly. An artillery strike. Daze the zombies. Well, that sounds good. Good to me. Okay. I suppose we can give you the light crossbow. One of those, but you are seriously hurt. Okay, so what happened? We've got dulled senses and just fed coming on so maybe the game has looked at me and gone oh you poor thing you need a breather um yeah, we'll give them that and we'll swap out we need Plank. a for more building materials people we might actually just do this He's three samples make yeah sick. Yeah, because he's he's too hurt for that. Um, Adrian Wade, how's Wade? He's okay. He's all right. Is someone your shotgun? Come on, Taylor. Cheapest creepers, it sounds like they're uh, more on the march. What the fuck am I even here for? Ah, oh, really? Who is he? What is your purpose? Oh, he's my chemist. Complete his goals. Is over. Well, that would be one way of uh, of reducing our head count. Um, get behind that. No, don't get behind that. We'll use those. Zombies and freaks prone to falling over. Poor eyesight and worse hearing. Now is the time to bust a gut and go trade some stuff. Go trade those. And crossbow bolts. Like crossbow? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And apart from that, we're good. Let's get out of here. Oh, zombies come. So, what is what do we learn? Jumping out of the car to pick up a crossbow bolt at night in this mod is a bad idea. Like that one there, it's just sitting there in the road tempting me. Oh, uh, tempting me. Tastes like blood is that a sample? Yeah, it is a sample. So these, I'm sure I've got three samples in the, in the trunk, right? I don't know that I have three samples in the trunk. But we can't stop here to find out. We've got a play card stirs, that's all great, that's wonderful. You have to die. So it's still made it's still made a stir because well the, I hit the zombie with a car as opposed to anything else. We haven't, so we're just gonna get out of here. Zombies are a disease. 
We go up here. This scream is probably gonna, probably gonna scream. And all right. Obviously, I've lost. Of no, no, no. All right. We have to get out of this area. We're going on a long drive. We may have screwed this up. Obviously, the uh, person that I put in the... Um well, as soon as we're out here. Wow. This wasn't the plan. I like this place. You can use this. Ooh. Ah, repair van at least. Always a toolkit in the back of one of those. Right. The whiskey peddlers. Could head towards them. So what did I do? Did I? Oh, I think I left the plague samples on someone else, one of my other community members. We need more of these. Call mom, and she called me. Hmm. All right. Let's see if episodes marching on a little bit. I'm hoping that maybe there's been enough cool down. Something else we can search, maybe? Nope. Alright, so we are in the middle of nowhere. With a damaged car, which we should probably repair now because if it catches fire. While we're trying to get out, nowhere for that to go. It's going to be no bueno. All right. I suppose if we did go up here, we might be able to fight enough of them, but all it would take is the screamers to get close to the building, even if, even if the Enclave members are, you know, taking out the others. Here's a sample. Damn, that's Damn. locked. It is locked. Be able to get, get some wits. Yeah. Well, there's one. So now we can stack them, I guess. We're only carrying notes and bollocks like that. Let's chuck that stuff in there. Can we stack notes? We can't stack notes. They say different things. That's how it works. Damn, that's hard. Got some dead folks out and about. Get on swivel. Because that was quite loud getting into there. I will search it. 
Apologies if this episode is going on a little bit longer. The good news is you would always pause it. Come back to it later. Sometimes you find yourselves in these situations. It can be of your own making. And it can be frustrating. But it's important just to remain calm. And figure how you can get out of it. Now what's important now? What's important now is to switch to a rebar. Which is a lot heavier to use actually. We'll stick with the... Uh, we'll stick with the bowie machete. Right, we've been out here for a little while. Nice. Um, do we want both of these? Yep, we sure do. Are you still working on what we talked about? Uh, I'm trying to. It's just a lot harder than I thought. Um. Oh, right. So now we should be able to drop that. No, I didn't mean to drop that, but that'll do. Again, that's another update 36 kind of thing. I'm going to... Great a distraction. It was too good a shot. I hit it in the head from there. Of course, it was an accident. All right. We we'll eye out the screamers. Now we have a door. We can we can hit them. samples on the ground there so we'll just keep on moving screamer up here where is he there he is you sir shut up already You've done enough damage all right so good we could dip our head in there and actually see what's going on but we're okay ah uh, these are the slow dull zombies which still must be said Ah. We'll still wake up a play card if we kill them. Alright, there's one. I'm pretty sure I saw one up here, right? No? Curses. All right, we are going to do this because that should make that uh, enclave friendly. We'll just chuck this stuff in for now. We're only dealing with getting the plague samples, so one of our Things guys has them. I'm not too, too too fussed about who has it, who doesn't. Someone does. Not Plunk, though, right? Plunk. Ah, oh, shivers. Get out, 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 get out. He'll be fine. Ah, <sighs> god dang it. I may not be fine. Hit it again. Okay, I'm pouring around the corner. No, it's all good. All right, so we'll tell them that, yeah, that we're on our way. Come on, Taylor. How's it going? Starting to think this crew don't need me. You're all right, man. You're all right. Okay, I'm 
Oops. We're all good. Let's go. Come on, let's get this done. Come on, let's go. Let's make this happen. Creepers, creepers. Plague zombies Making in all this directions. about as hard as be I careful. can possibly make it right now. Like I say, can't look gift enclaves in the nose. In the mouth? Anything like that. Don't, yeah, just, yeah. We want these guys to be on our side. Oops. Let's do it. You'll wake up the heart most for sure. Oh, what? Oh, well, we'll just keep running around. Hopefully, these guys will take him out. to do that. Fire Take that. Hole. I panicked. Oh well, it had to happen eventually. Ah, there's a sample. No, might as well just take these guys out then. Looks quiet for now. As long as that play card is nearby, yeah, this place will never feel safe. Ouch, I'm in a lot of pain. Ooh, they're in trouble. Later. Hey there. I owe you one. You're welcome. See you soon. That should have been easy. You motherfuckers about to see the last of me. We're about to lose our chemist. Jeepers, creepers. Where do we park? Far away from those guys. Oh, they did. I knew too much time with the damn zombies would make me sick. Holy crap! This night is horrible. I want to go home. I'm going home. The night is dark and full of terrors and zombies being mean to me. I mean, they latched onto me. They were, uh, they were, yeah, homicidal in nature. Homicidal. Probably didn't need to drive all the way back here, but we'll do it. So yeah, we want to swap out for sure. Take that and put ourselves in the infirmary. Uh, plunk, we can't take Plunk. We can take Minerva. We can take Adrian who's... Yes! Ooh, maybe we should take close combat. 
Ooh. Ah, we'll go with that. And let me guess. Adrian is the one with it. No, he's not. Okay. Someone's carrying around three plague samples, and I can't remember who it was. Shut up, we're going to have every deadhead in the area of our asses. Got to find Plunk. Is that Plunk? That's Zeb. Zeb's okay. I think he's got, yeah, he's got the KSG, so he's good. Minerva's good. Wade's good. Where would we find Quitting Time? Oops, what am I doing? Pressing all the wrong buttons. Um I didn't come this far just to watch you all fuck it up. Get your shit together, people. Give me all of your stuff. You're gonna bugger off. Then we're gonna keep all the stuff. Oh, nice. All right, and we need to give this to someone. How's it going? She's got a bolt scout, so she is just fine. Hello. Quaid has got crossbows, so. Give him that. Drop that in there. We need a firearm ourselves. Take that, take that. And it's pretty much time to call it a wrap that's all we got all right thanks so much for watching i hope you're enjoying the episode i'm going to call it here before we're swamped by more zombies because i can hear them getting closer and closer all the time will plunk leave the community will minerva's hygiene save the day will we ever get into the northeast camp restroom and search that last outpost we will never know Thank you so much for watching. I hope you're enjoying the series. Thanks for all your support. Hit that like on the way out and consider subscribing if you're new to the channel. And I hope to see you for the next one. Ka kite. Bye for now.